listen i am so happy to come before you as you know i've been in shut away now for over two years and it's been tremendous you know today is july the 15th friday and i wanted to come and give you an update as you know COVID has been ravishing the united states and it has offset a lot of our plans even with the arena for over two years but we haven't given up we know that god has allowed this so he can bring the biggest miracle healing movement across the united states and the world and i'm excited about what god is going to do and so i wanted to come and give you this update very quickly about the things we're doing but i mainly wanted to speak to you concerning some rumors also that are floating around about i'm on deathbed and all of this crap and i'm ill and all of this foolishness listen do not believe my liars and those those traitors and enemies and these evil detractors out here there's something i just found out somebody said that was put out on facebook and i want to read it to you to show you how these are christian people who think they are right but listen to what it says i pray he has repented this is what somebody's put on facebook cult leader david e taylor is on his deathbed do it look like i'm on my deathbed i'm not on no deathbed they are lying to you okay so i wanted to come and make that straight with you and peer with you before <laughs> this is amazing they said david e. taylor is on his deathbed facts god has the final say you right god do have the final say and you a liar my friend so i want to come and let all the people know that love me around the world love this ministry love face to face what god is doing and how massive and huge this ministry has grown even since during COVID. and i'm so excited to bring that news to you but i want you to spread this video let everybody know david taylor is not on a deathbed Amen. We are doing the will of God and we are spreading the Lord Jesus across the world. And as you see in the background, we are in the eight billion soul harvest starting in America. Hallelujah. 222 and beyond. So listen, I want to go over a few things with you uh, about what we're doing so that you will be abreast. Now, you know that we have the arena crusade online coming up next week and that's on the 22nd and the 23rd i want you to meet us there don't miss it you know this is the big crusade of the year you know i've been not been out for some time because the lord really put it on my heart to focus more on this consecration and this prayer than to be doing services continually you see i'm not in here to be coming out doing services constantly you can't focus in prayer on God and do that at the same time I came in here to seek God and to rest so that I can be ready for the big arenas that is going to take place around America and the world already we have two countries lined up one we already saw over a million people showed up to my service physically overseas in a crusade and now another in another country over they said over five million people will be at that crusade so i'm telling you things are lining up so that when i come out of here we're going to do some big crusades around the world so as you know online crusade tell everybody about that that's coming up next week do not miss this amen so also a lot of people been thinking that the uh the Orlando Arena is canceled. No, it is not canceled. We, we keep moving the date back because COVID keeps breaking out. You know, it seems like it goes down and it breaks out again. So the reason why we are uh, constantly pushing the date back is because I am not going to spend all of that money on an arena. And they only let us pack out half the people. And I'm not going to do an arena where it's a super spreader, where even if they let us do it, if COVID is still going on like it is, it don't make sense to do this kind of thing until 
God is finished upon the earth with what he is doing. So uh, I just want all of you to know we are still doing the arena crusade in Orlando. I want you to be excited about that. I am so excited about that. Hallelujah. So I want you to be excited about that. Um, you know, I want to go over some things. I want all of you to know that I am constantly, constantly praying for you since I've been in here. As you see, I got all your names and this is not all of them. I have a staff. I have people praying constantly 24 hours a day for you by name, praying over your names constantly. I am in here in Shutaway praying for you and I love you. And we're going to see the greatest move of God happen, not only in my life, but in your life. Hallelujah. This is the church's greatest hour. And we're about to see God do something so major. Hallelujah. Another thing I want to share is that recently the Lord just appeared, the Lord Jesus, in a dream. And he said, David, get the book out. Get the woman's book out. As you know, I just finish the woman's book the new women's book that has just come out it's amazing now I got all of this revelation from Jesus while I was in here and I put this in a book this is directly from me and the Lord Jesus Christ as he gave it to me and 